Hey everybody, welcome back to Simply Sarissa. Today I have a new store to share with you. Well, new to me. It is called Petal and Pup. And so if you are not familiar with Petal and Pup, they are an exclusively online boutique that is always getting new arrivals and always restocking old classics. Uh, their price points are interesting. I'll go through that in a little bit. And they have just a very feminine, fun, really kind of flirty look to everything. But you can definitely create different outfits and mix and match very easily. So let's get right into the haul. The first piece I want to talk about is this blouse. It is a cotton, I believe like polyester spandex mix. I purchased it in a size six. It is $59.95 full price. So again, I used a discount code. Would I pay $59.95 for this? Probably not. Uh, the quality is nice though. Everything so far I have found seems to be uh, made in China. If I find something else, I'll let you know, but that's what I'm seeing so far. The top is, it's a true lace, but it is a little bit stretchy. And um, it is a little shorter on my wrist, but I actually am okay with that. It is a higher neck line, but as you can tell, the neck is actually Actually, the lace itself and then the bodice has a full lining underneath it which is also stretchy as well I'm just wearing a nude bra underneath and you can't see anything so that's a plus the back has a double little uh, button closure with a little bit of an opening I don't know if I had them both closed or not uh, it doesn't feel very tight so I actually could wear this I think it's comfortable it's not bothering me at all and because of the lining it is smooth but I will say I can feel the lace and it's a tiny bit itchy on my arms so I know that if I got hot um, it would probably bother me a little bit more but for like early spring or even winter as a layering piece I don't think it would be too extremely bad but just to make you aware if you're very sensitive it would feel a little bit different to you next up is this true wrap skirt so I can't flip it open too much uh, because it definitely is a true wrap what I will say about this skirt though is that it actually has a liner that's approximately from here to here which I really appreciate because then I don't have to wear shapewear underneath if I don't feel like it because it just adds that little bit more um, a bit of security and smooths things out a little bit what I am loving about a wrap skirt is that it can move and grow with you meaning because of these being fully wrap around and adjustable if I am having an off day or if I lose a few pounds this is still going to fit me very well and I love the adjustability of that uh, this is a tan skirt I would call it a long midi skirt for me and I'm about almost 5'9 five, 5'8 five, and a half ish this was also $59.95 I purchased it in a size 8 which is generally my true size for the bottom and I'm glad I did do that. I also finished off the look with this most adorable envelope purse. This is actually from Target. Such a great find. Full price, $20. It's that a new day. I'll leave a link below. Um, I love this because I needed like a little clutch or something for a little bit more nicer events. And um, I didn't want to spend a ton on that. But I wanted a light color for spring. And this just fit the bill. Look how cute this is. It has a little open pocket. So if I wanted to slide my cell phone or something else in there quickly. It has this really fun chain detail that's got a great length. If I wanted to make it crossbody, I could. I could also just wear it over. Uh, it's thin enough that you could actually knot it and use it that way, but it also is built so that you can tuck it in and have more like a handheld little purse. A cute, cute, cute inside as well. Has plenty of space. You could actually probably fit a full-size wallet in here if you needed to. And then it has another little zippered pocket inside. So yeah, I think for $20, this was just a great find. And I love that it kind of finishes off the look with this outfit. I just feel great in this. I could go uh, to brunch. I could go even to like a bridal shower or a baby shower in this and feel really put together. Super cute overall. Next up is this beautiful dress. It's so sweet and romantic. It was, I believe, $79.95 full price. I got my true size eight and it is 100% polyester, but it does have a much more high-end look to it on the fabric. It, it really comes off almost as a silk dress. Um, it, it is lovely looking. I don't know what the sweat factor would be though, because I know with certain polyester kind of, um, 
blouses and things that I have had. I have seen sweat marks, but I don't know and I can't speak to that. Uh, it, this can also be worn off the shoulder if you're kind of into that look. I am not that brave. I feel like it would drop a little bit on me, but depending on your bust size and what type of bra you're wearing, it definitely can be worn off the shoulder if you like that look. I am wearing it with my true, true bra because I wanted to kind of really let you see what you're working with if you do choose to get this dress. Um, you can see it a little bit here. So I wouldn't suggest wearing it with your regular bra, but maybe more of a shelf bra or even a strapless bra would work. Um, I love this ruching on here. I think it's very flattering. I love the um, neckline on it. I think it's just very romantic and fun. But with a little bit of the sleeve, I feel like I'm not showing too much. Uh, it also has a full, if you can see this, this is actually a tieable wrap. And I do appreciate this as well because you can untie it and then it kind of gives you a little bit more wiggle room. So if, again, you're having a rough day or something's just not fitting quite right, you can actually loosen this a little bit and tie this a little bit looser. So I do appreciate that about it, but um, it overall, it's you know just a really beautiful fit on a dress. I think it's really flattering for a lot of body styles. Um, you do definitely have a little bit more room in the bust. Um, I if you can see that, um, it's fitting me well, it's not showing anything, and it actually has, if you can see, um, sticky here. You know, sometimes with like the sticky bras or the underwear to keep them in place, it actually offers that here, which I think is a great detail because it kind of helps to make you feel a little bit more secure there. I'll back up so you can see the length on this. It is more of a uh, midi dress as well, I believe. If you were very petite, very petite, it could almost be a maxi on you. Um, but I just think it flows really well. I think it's a beautiful dress. Uh, it I also comes in, I think, nine color options. So if blue is not your thing, they have so many other color options that could go with any theme or if you, per se, want to wear something particular to even your own bridal shower or to someone else's, you could actually match well. Honestly, I think this would even be beautiful as a bridesmaid's dress, especially for like an outdoor, maybe daytime wedding. These are just gorgeous and um, you can get them in multiple sizes. So, so, so pretty. Um, again, it also is lined inside to about here, which again, I appreciate so much because oftentimes with these lighter, very shiny fabrics, they show every lump and bump. This was designed very well. So for this price point, I really do think it's worth it because they thought it through very well with the adjustability, with you know just being able to do everything. It does also have a very more discreet zipper all the way down very low so it's easy to get on either overhead or from underneath depending on if you don't want to mess up your hair and makeup or if you already have your shoes on. It's just a really beautifully done dress. I'm really happy with this. I think it's a beautiful look and I think if you could be worn just multiple ways for a lot of reasons. I actually wanted to show you the fails because again that's what we're here for right everyone? So <laughs> these shorts, I honestly don't know what I was thinking. Um, I should not be wearing heavy or thicker shorts. I should not be wearing cuffed shorts and I should not be wearing pleats with my body type. So what did I order? All of those things wrapped into one. These shorts, I am not even going to try on to show you because when I walked out in them, I always kind of do a run by with my family. Both of my children were like, no just no. And when I walked up in front of my husband, which he had been very flattering to me with everything else, he said, do not wear those on the internet. <laughs> so I'm taking his advice. <laughs> Some things just shouldn't be on the internet. <laughs> These are hilarious. I, <sighs> you guys, first of all, I did size up because generally shorts run smaller on me being a pear shape. So I thought, oh, problem solved. I'll order a size 10. They won't be too tight in the rear or on the hips. You know, they'll hang a lot nicer and maybe I can get away with these. <sighs> Let's just say they don't work and I, pulling them up made them worse. I felt like I was like in the wrong century and that I was borrowing my great grandfather's pants and had chopped them into shorts. 
I did order shoes. They do have shoes on their website. And I thought, okay, I'm gonna get a nice sampling of everything. And I really wanted these shoes to work because I thought they would be perfect for this spring and summer. Um, they are a beautiful tan, they're calling this color biscuit uh, sandal and just a flat slide sandal. So I ordered my larger size 10. I generally do that, especially if I'm testing shoes for the first time. This brand is called Bellini. So it's not actually a pedal and pup, but um, Bellini. So I'm assuming you might be able to find these brands elsewhere, uh, but pedal and pup carries them. The sandals look like this. So very, very promising. Oopsie, very promising, really cute look. I love the color of these and I liked that they were a tiny bit squared off. Uh, not a whole lot of padding as you can see, very thin. But unfortunately, even in ordering my largest size, I can barely get these on. This is very tight and I don't have the widest feet. I don't have tiny feet by any means, but um, they're not that wide. And th my, my larger size normally gives me plenty of room here and plenty of room everywhere else these fit me like I was trying to squeeze into a nine and again I wear between a nine and a half and a ten so my foot was actually almost hanging off the edge of these so I would definitely say these run very small I believe the only way I might be able to pull these off is if I got a ten and a half or approximately eleven and I never ever have to do that in shoes so these unfortunately are gonna go back and the price on these was $49.95 as well I really think that I could find uh, the same look for probably a little less or I might just kind of for $50 I could probably get just a little bit higher quality of a shoe so even though they're adorable unfortunately just with the sizing being as off as they are they're a fail before we get into the last piece, the question of the day is, have you shopped at Petal and Pup before? And if so, do you like the items or did everything have to go back? All right, so the next piece is, or actually my last piece, is this cardigan sweater. And if you saw my last uh, try on video at Banana Republic, I, ha I just have a thing for big, heavy cable knit sweaters, but I wanted one that cinched in at the waist. So I found this one and thought I'd give it a shot. This I purchased in a small medium and that's how these sizes are running on these sweaters they have like small medium I believe medium large large extra large that type of thing so very generously sized for the small medium it's fitting me really well it is a cream color I did not see see this one in other colors but they may have oh I my bad they have it in a really pretty gray color as well but I decided to go for the cream because I like this color so it is a beautiful cable knit if you can see that I'll get a little close up and it is that same cable all the way through the entire sweater with the exception of the trim on it it has a little bit of a different feel and then the belt which does remove um, and it does have belt loops they, um, the belt obviously has a little bit of a different um, stitching on it as well, but all the same material. It is long and I just put it on over my free assembly bodycon dress because it's kind of a blank palette and I just wanted you to be able to see the whole look of the dress and what you would be getting into. So here it is from the back and it does cover your rear end. So if you needed to throw it on over like a very skinny pants or even some sort of leggings, this would definitely cover you pretty well. You know, you wouldn't be showing too much as long as you had it uh, belted. Or of course you could just leave it open. Uh, it does have this kind of a puffy sleeve belt. I don't know what you want to call that type of a sleeve. Um, super cute. I do like it because you can pull it up as you can see and it does cinch in a little bit. So if you pulled it up, you could kind of change the look all together and you could show off whatever you had underneath it. So that's a, a fun detail like that as well. Overall, it is nice. It's very warm. I do feel great in this. Uh, we're having pretty mild weather right now, so I could easily wear this instead of a coat and feel great about it. I like that I could wear it with skinny jeans. I could just throw it on over just absolutely anything. It does not have any type of pockets on it, so if that's a deal breaker for you, you need to know that. But overall, lovely uh, price though. Let's talk price. The price on this is, I believe, $79.95. Um, it's an outerwear piece. So really, you just have to look at your price points and what you're willing to pay for an outerwear piece. If it's something you could wear multiple times during the week, I believe that it would be uh, cost per wear worth it to you. But if it's just 
something that you're only going to wear once or twice. I don't know that it's worth $80 for that, but this is something that I know I would wear a lot. And it's also an item that you could like take to work and leave there and it would basically throw on over almost anything if you were working in like an office type of an environment. And I like that the belt is removable so you could just throw it on and off as well. Taking off the belt, just wanted to show you really quickly what that looks like if you wanted to uh, tie it up in the back if you needed to, just to kind of have it open one or if you wanted to remove it all together the little loops are not very big and don't stick out very much so i think if you removed the belt altogether, uh, you wouldn't really have an issue you could just wear it open like this as well that is it for this pedal and pup haul i hope it helped you and if you do find value in these videos make sure you hit like and subscribe i'd really appreciate it if you join our friends and family group here and until next time i'll see you soon